This is the Negro Ninja. And I was wondering whether or not I should talk about this today or when it happened. But someone left a comment that pretty much confirmed that I should make this video. All right, nigga, yesterday I was on this bitch's live stream. Okay. And as soon as I click on her live stream, she damn near got her titties out. You know, you see how this jacket is. So just picture some cleavage, you know, without a bra. You're just seeing the separation. Okay, almost like she wants your dick to lay between it. Okay, is that that's that that's that's room for me to park? Okay. See, that's to get you engaged. Okay. See the average nigga just be focused on the titties. Oh, look at her titties. Okay. And when a man is horny, that's when the gateway is open usually. You know, that's why rainbow zombies like to linger around when there's areas that they know that holes that's bad is gonna be in. They know that she's gonna draw you to it. And he's going to try to fuck up the flow and stand between it. You know the shit I'm always talking about. This is the same concept as you engaging this chick. You know, this is the portal. And you know, and you know the, 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 the stereotype that man can't stop staring at a bitch's boobs. Bitch, I can stare at your titties all I want to and still be thinking about something. You can't get me like that. Okay, I just enjoy the show. I'm smart enough to enjoy the show. I'm still in control of this here. I'm in control of that down there too. Okay. See, but the average dumb motherfucker, when 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 this happens, this turns off. Okay, like that stupid joke goes. That shit is real to the average nigga. And the, the, the important part is she's talking philosophy. And I'm thinking to myself, what's up with all these hoes trying to be philosophers these days? And I've actually typed it, but I just didn't say ho. I said women. Okay. And once again, this is how the chick look. You know, every time I look around, she's showing her titties. Okay, and that's what made me uh, follow her in the first place. Okay. Let me see if I can find the picture. Um, that's to give y'all a good idea. Damn, I had it. Hold up. All right, here it go. So this is when I first saw her. Okay. But what she had today was similar to that you know except it wasn't really pressing her titties up like that but she always got them damn titties out a lot of times okay this is her instagram all right and she's still talking that philosophy and all this type of stuff and i see simps and just yes man all over the place not right there i'm telling you there's, there's a reason why they're surrounded by these type of dudes remember what i was saying about the low frequency shit okay you hearing all that low frequency sound when the when the monsters come at you on silent hill it's not just static electricity. Okay, simps. Okay, shit around. I mean, flies around shit. This, you know, zzz, low frequency sound. Same thing. Okay. So basically, you know, she's using that her advantage, and she's spewing the bullshit philosophy. I'm like, y'all hoes don't ever got anything to say that's really worth listening to anyway. Okay, and before I knew it, she pulls out some tarot cards. Basically say, this is what I'm saying, this, that, and this, be positive. Because the card says so. And I was like, this bitch here, you, you, that was the last straw. And I just basically unfollow her after that. Because she always talking some astrology shit when I get on there. I always got this here showing. Yeah, my zodiac this. I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about your zodiac. Fuck your zodiac. Okay, you need to spend more time trying to figure out how to be a real woman. Okay. Put down cosmetology in them stupid ass Zodiac books. Okay. Uh, magazine. Okay. Always got her titties out. Here's another one of the same chick. Okay. Women that try to show their breasts all the time are the most, usually among the most manipulative of bitch. Okay. Well, how you think they make it so far in the workforce? Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and just gawk at this chick real quick. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, so, um, see, but I know better. I know what time it is. Okay, I know what time it is, but does she think that she's going to get you like that? Okay, and that's just pretty much the game these days. You know, chicks put out those thirst traps. You know, they'll be influencers, and then they'll try to teach you these new age, um, the new age terminology and philosophy and stuff like that, you know, and like I said, there's a comment that pretty much confirmed that I should make a video talking about this right here. Okay. 
they think that when a man is horny, the man is just easier to control. And that's usually how it is. Just look at my old shit. When I was telling y'all how them rainbow zombies was using holes to try to get to me and shit. I've been through some shit. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Um, all these psychic attacks and all that shit. But, um, so basically, this is what made me decide to make this video. Somebody commented, do you believe in the concept of twin flames? It's, you know, I don't really, really want to say it, you know, but he basically just put the gist of it up there. I said, no, why do you ask? He said, um... I thought this girl was my twin flames and I saw signs, but I feel like it's a bait. And I said, okay, good, because I started to tell you that I'd stay away from all that new age stuff. Chicks are notorious for that. I might do a video and address this before I go to sleep. Okay, then he says, she was mirroring my body language. We had a similar mind. That is the only female or person I could connect with. So after hanging out with her in my neighborhood, she gave me her Snapchat and we chested. We texted like two days later. We was about to meet up. And then when I went to go and check back on the app, she blocked me. Okay, and I'm like, are you a male? He says, yes. I'm 17 and the girl was 15. Now, that's very strong. Um, that's some very strong manipulation for that age. Okay, now I, I know that girls are always manipulative. I have seen it. But this is like... She's learning from the witches because that's essentially what she is. That's what all these bitches are. Okay. All this type of shit has always been witchcraft. But the way they try to make you feel so down when they reject you, playing all the games. You know, I talk about it in the detail of my old shit. Okay, but that's what she's doing. She's actually on some succubus shit right here. Okay, that's, let's look up this definition. Okay. She trying to drain your soul. That's what they all try to do. Succubus. Okay, because I'm pretty sure, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if she introduced the concept of a twin flame to you. A demon assuming the form of a female to have a sexual intercourse with men in their sleep. But you know, that you don't necessarily have to be sleep. You know, them chick walking around trying to make you horny and all that type of shit and teasing. That's, that's the same thing. All right, but like I said, watch out my old shit. Okay, but, um, and that's essentially what she was doing. Okay, to get a rise out of you. You know, like I would be saying, um, using the adrenal, what the hell is it? The way they take the blood and they get all the, um, the chemicals that come from fear out of it. I forgot, is it adrenal glands or something? Something, oh, damn, I forgot the shit. Somebody gonna type it in the comments again. They always tell me what it's what it mean. But that's what they say to these celebrities be on a little younger. It's the same concept. She's just torturing you and just trying to kill you, you know, um, kill pieces of you and just drain you like that. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying that I know that she most likely have taught you that about the twin flame is because I first heard that from a bitch on YouTube. Okay, and out of nowhere, she started talking astrology shit. You got to watch these hoes. She be doing the thirst traps too. Okay, talking about something. Like the channel is something that is not related to that. Okay, but you know, a lot of people watch the channel because, oh man, we got similar interests. She like this, I like this. It's, you know, just a comic book um, movie type shit is what she do. Okay, so a lot of dudes is going to feel the way that you just said right there. Okay. She was mirroring my body language. We had a similar mind. Okay, she's doing this to a T. Okay. Ooh, because I remember when I first saw her, I was like, damn, why can't they be girls like this over here? All the bitches that I was dealing with, they ain't really have common interests and shit like that. These bitches just be there. But she into this, that, and this. And I was thinking that for a minute. And I just used to watch her videos. Okay. And she bad, too. Okay, and she's over a seven. Okay. And she stacked, you know, she got, a, she, you know, she got, you'll do something to her. Okay, and then she got a head shaved and all this type of shit, though, you know, got tattoos. But I'm like, she's still fuckable, though, but, you know, this is before I really start saying, you know what, fuck bitches with tattoos. I, I want my women not to have them. Okay, so, um, you know, this is how they do it. Okay. Get you with sexual, you know, interests, you know, 
all this and all that down there and then just try to teach you this type of stuff that's that's the game that's the goal okay all right because all this twin flame shit is just basically some energy vampire shit that's all it is you know because god never told you that he put you in one vessel and in another vessel you got one soul you responsible for that one soul that you gotta you know you know answer to god with okay because when you get penalized for something he gonna penalize you only not your other half or whatever all that you know people been telling us this bullshit for years anyway they kind of soften people up for the concept of a twin flame you complete me my other half you like i said god will never tell you that okay god basically just say that a woman is your rib he didn't say that was your other half he said that's a rib okay so that's technically not even all that significant when you stop to think about it i mean it is but it ain't okay because you know you just just do research about the rib growing back and all this type of stuff it's just a little tiny piece okay god did not make eve by saying okay let me put adam to sleep and let me just literally cut this half off and put it over there that ain't how he did it okay so they already polluting god's word okay with that nonsense because it, it, it takes a, a little bit of the truth to get you interested in a lie don't nobody give a damn about nothing that is a 100 percent lie shut the fuck up you know that's not real and you're gonna keep going oh it's not you know they you know try to get you with something familiar like how you you said that she have a similar mind and all this type of stuff and people just really just mirror you who's to say that this chick wasn't studying you before y'all came into contact the whole time okay just like how people be on here on my youtube okay all this type of stuff is not necessarily just between man and bitch okay this is just warfare in general this is how people always try to infiltrate Man, we got similar ideology. I'm like, no the fuck we don't. Okay, it's easy for you to say that because you watch like 20 of my videos before you commented. We don't think nothing similar. Why you ain't supporting the channel if you really think so similar? You'll want to see me grow. You'll want to see the, the the channel grow. You'll want to see me do better. You ain't doing shit. You ain't buying the shirts. Okay, you ain't sharing my videos. That's how motherfuckers try to do you. Okay, if they did share it, they'll just download it so they can share it on their own term. Motherfucker, won't you just share the video on your Facebook? No, I'm scared. You know, I got a lot of people I know on there and I want them to see that I watch it. You know, because that would have been giving me views when in revenue if I had ads enabled. You see how they try to do you. They try to bullshit you. Okay, that's why you got to make people shit or get out the pot. You know, the next time you see a bitch that you think got a similar, a similar interest, okay, you have to test her. I don't know how you can test her because I don't know the situation. Okay, but you know what really matters to you. And you're going to put that on the table and see how she responds to it. You got to lay your dick on the table with these hoes. Okay. You know, just call her bluff the next time. The next time a chick try to act like this, you know, y'all meant to be together and all this type of shit. Okay. But the concept is to get you infatuated. I mean, the, the goal is to get you infatuated. Have her all on your mind. Oh, I'm just thinking about this bitch 24-7. Oh, my God. This, I love you. Just like the love songs. Because what's really supposed to be on our minds 24-7 is scriptures from the Bible. God's word. That's how we, you know, that's the true way you're supposed to be meditating. You know, while you're fasting and all this type of stuff. Okay, taking us away from the spiritual warfare, putting us on this hole. Okay, and like I said, this is what chicks have always done, trying to walk around dressing provocative to take our attention off of whatever. Okay, and like I said, all this twin flame bullshit, the hoe would do all types of dumb shit. Okay, she'll do anything to make you think that there's a spiritual connection. Okay, when it's really just a spiritual, um, what they like to call it. Um, well, what you call that shit? I would say like a chain or like a link or something. Like somebody just basically tying an invisible string around you. Like on um, that, that anime movie called Ninja Scroll. And there's this dude that's a rainbow zombie. Okay. 
and he would tie invisible string around people. And he would shock them. They don't know the string is there. Okay. And he'll shock them. Gets them every time. Okay. And then once somebody else sees it, then he'll make the string disintegrate so they can't track them. That's basically what that is. Okay. Figure out, you know, rebuke these soul ties that these hoes be trying to um, attach to you. Like this unmeaningful soul ties bullshit. Okay. You know, trying to take up all your time and talk to you and all that bullshit. She ain't about shit, you know. And when you become more aware of this type of stuff, okay, chicks even become more desperate when they know you, you know, once they know that you put up with less shit, they'll even come begging. So please don't go, you know, I like you and this, that, and this, but she ain't giving me what I want, bitch. I told you to do one simple thing. Okay. And that involves my penis in your mouth and you don't want to do that. And all that food you're eating. Okay. You don't want to put my dick in your mouth. Okay, bitch, I'm trying to feed you. Okay, once you get finished doing what you're supposed to do, you get to drink a nice milkshake after you're done. Why you don't want this milkshake? Well, bitch, we ain't, I don't want this interaction. Okay. I don't want this interaction. Okay, next time. Okay. Lay your dick on the table with these hoes. Okay, get this whole, you know, requirements to even give you that much time. I mean, take, be with you for that long and shit and, and uh, for you to give her that much time. All right, but all that, all that shit, all this new age shit, it just make it easier, you know, for the dating game to drain you is basically what I'm getting across. Okay, because this twin flame bullshit, you know, they even say that you can have multiple twin flames. That's how full of shit they are. So how what what do you call okay? Let, let's look up the definition of twin. Because the last time I checked, a twin means pair, but let's see. Definition. Okay. One of two children or animals born at the same time of birth. Experiments were carried out using sex of identical twins. Okay. Forming or being one of a pair born at one birth. Yeah, okay, yeah, see? So how the fuck could you have multiple? You see how they try to do you? They full of shit. Okay, they don't say no quadruple it. Why they just say quadruple it for um, um, flames or something? Okay, because you got to realize that God even allows a man to have multiple wives and concubines. Okay, so they full of it, man. I'm telling you. Okay, we don't exist for just one woman. Okay, but a woman should only have one man. Okay. But a woman should only have one man. And even still, you know, if that man that she has was to die, she would still have to move on to, you know, a different man. In the Bible, they say that the brother is supposed to impregnate his wife's widow or something to keep his, you know, memory going or whatever. Or take care of her kids or she'll marry him or whatever. It's something like that. So God has this set up right. And it's better than all this little new age BS that they're trying to, you know, invoke on men to get them pussy whipped or more excited to sell their souls to this dating game. She's an energy vampire. Any chick coming at you with that type of shit is an energy vampire. Okay. Because she ain't thinking about you nowhere near that much. Which is why she did what the fuck she did. Is to try to get you to think about her even more than you should. All right. And hopefully I, you know, helped you out or whatever. Since, since this is 20 minutes, I'm going to end it. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.